Hey everybody, it's Monday, March the 5th, 2013. I just wanted to check back into you on the MCA tip. I have um, just started the process again on Friday. I just joined. I have quite a few referrals that I'm ready to sign up. I just haven't entered their information yet. For something inside of me is still a little skeptical. Although I do believe that this is the breakthrough point. Um, something just came across my mind. It's like how I've been thinking of all these ways to market and um, get people to agree with the idea of having MCA as one of their benefits. Um, and I mean, I've just been thinking and thinking and thinking. And to be honest, what I'm, all I can come up with is I live in the city. I live in a hood around a lot of hood people. Some of them do not maintain their automobile insurance now tell me how freak messed up it is when you get stuck flat car stops whatever something happens and you don't have any type of tow service with your cell phone because sprint don't do that shit no more with your insurance because you let it lapse two weeks ago there's nobody in a car with you that has any insurance triple a none of that none of that you're just like pretty much out of there how many times does that happen i would like to think very frequently especially if you're not maintaining insurance you might not be maintaining your car which means you could end up in these type of situations often all the damn time tell me what a joy or what type of relief would you have if you were able to maintain a 19 dollars and 95 dollar product from mca that would provide you benefits like emergency tow service, emergency roadside assistance, emergency lockouts, um, many other things. That's just not it. But tell me how relieved you would be if you were able to call MCA. You couldn't call your insurance company, but you could call MCA. How would you feel? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And, I mean, I don't think this is an alternative to having any type of automobile insurance. It's a requirement for some states, but it's just something good to have to keep you covered, keep you safe. But if you can't afford to pay $120 or $300 or whatever hundred it is, can you afford to pay $20 a month, $39.90 to start being a member, and then be an agent? Flip that $39.90 into $80 for every person that you introduce MCA to. I'm just saying.